Here's a tip from neuroscience to overcome procrastination that I wanted to share with you. Stay tuned. Hey there, welcome back to the FlowLab channel where we discuss psychological science and mental fitness. My name is Eva, I am psychologist and head of content at FlowLab and if you want to learn more about dopamine, check out our playlist where we take you on a dopamine detox self-experiment and talk about the science behind dopamine. When planning your day ahead, how often do you picture yourself doing this? But when actually getting started, rather find yourself doing this, this or this? It seems like a hidden force. Whenever you try to be productive, temptation strikes like a carnival of distractions. You find yourself caught in the loop of postponing tasks, but deep down, isn't there this nagging feeling? This subtle pang of guilt and unease? It's like a constant reminder that you should be doing something else, something important that you're avoiding. In psychology, we call that cognitive dissonance. On the one hand, you know what's right. You're aware of the tasks at hand, the deadlines looming, and the progress you could be making. Yet, on the other hand, you find yourself drawn to distractions, seeking momentary pleasure or respite from the pressures of the present. To relieve that cognitive dissonance, you can either change your thoughts, in this case, telling yourself that procrastination isn't that bad after all, or your behavior, so getting up and getting things done. Inspired by neuroscientist Huberman, let me introduce a little game that helps you beat procrastination. You'll flex your mental muscles by challenging yourself to resist distractions and actively choose the more productive option. Each time during the day you successfully resist a temptation, you earn a point. Every time you are tempted to press snooze when intending to get out of bed, when you feel the urge to check your phone while working or in any way distract yourself from what you ought to be doing, you have a moment to decide which path to take. Go for the more productive option and earn yourself at that point. Think of it as a scoring system for your determination and growth. Set a daily goal in the morning for how many times you want to resist the temptation, something that stretches you, like aiming for 21 points. Over time, remember to continuously raise the bar by increasing your point goal over time. This steady climb keeps you engaged, motivated and constantly pushing the boundaries of your focus and productivity. The beauty of this game is that it's not about sacrificing pleasure. In fact, we are flipping the script. We're turning the productive choice into its own reward. By reframing the narrative, we shift our focus from what we're giving up to what we're gaining. Personal growth, progress and a deeper sense of satisfaction. By collecting points, you'll get your dopamine from choosing the productive option. It signals you that you're on the right path and increases your focus and motivation so that it'll be easier to create momentum. This game also aligns with the mindset of autotelic people. So those who possess a natural inclination to find flow and a sense of joy and fulfillment in the process of their work. Autotelic people approach challenges with a playful attitude, infusing their tasks with a sense of curiosity and enjoyment. By embracing this little dopamine game, we tap into our own autotelic potential, turning our work into a source of pleasure. We transform resistance into enthusiasm. Give it a try and share your number of points you collected in the comments below. Go get it and I'll see you next time.